you and I are both really high on Aaron Jones this season. Like him we are. more than some of the guys he's going behind. Um, yeah. But I think maybe we should talk a little bit more about AJ Dillon. Um, I think I'm he, much higher on AJ Dillon than you are. I think he has all the talent in the world, and I think he would probably start for more than half of the teams in the league. And the Packers, mm-hmm. obviously, if we're you know we're not for Aaron Jones. Um, he has probably the biggest quads in the league next to Saquon, if not bigger. Um, but he showed for the first time last year that he can actually produce through the air. He had 34 catches on 37 targets. Like that is extremely yeah. high conversion rate efficiency. And that one, yep. that's what makes me a little more excited about this year. Um, he needs to expand on that role. And I think he will. Everybody talks about, you know, the vacated targets, in this offense, losing Devonte Adams and MVS, um, he could be a huge value in drafts. He's currently going in the sixth round ADP on sleeper. Um, if he if if they do it right and they scheme the offense, because that's what they're going to have to do. Um, he's ranked as running back 34 on ESPN, but they're going to have to scheme this offense. And it it is a schematic offense. Um, And what I mean by that is all of the pre-snap motions uh, and running multiple plays. (laughs) He hates it, hates it so much. He just wants to focus on precision and timing in West Coast offense. And that's not the offense that he's in. Um, and, the, a, and the blue sky earth. He, he likes that too. Yes. Or, yes. Whatever, or whatever it is. Her. I th- yes. Um, but, it, but it's a schematic offense where they deliberately try to develop schemes that create advantages for their team. Um, losing Devonte Adams is going to reduce or make them vastly change the schemes that they were running to something that fits their personnel. Yeah. They're going to have to run Aaron Jones out wide. I really, truly think so, or maybe as a split back or something. I think that they're going to have to give Aaron Jones the ability to get the ball in space. And I think that hopefully what that means is more field time for A.J. Dillon um, in the backfield. So, yeah, it, it really wouldn't surprise me to see them run more two running back sets in the shotgun where they're both standing there. next to Rodgers. They, they could run either way. And then if you're going to throw a pass, you have Tanya going up the middle. You have Lazard, Cobb, Dubs, like who, whoever Dobbs, uh, whoever is doing all the all the wide receiving for them. And you just basically have both running backs run out of the backfield and stand, you know, right at the line of scrimmage for a check down. Like they, they will get the ball into these two guys hand because they're the best playmakers. I trust Rodgers to do that. And A.J. Dillon is kind of sneaky good. Like, I mean, he's more than a handcuff. He's flex worthy on a weekly basis at worst. He could end up with double digit touchdowns and I wouldn't be surprised. And, and Aaron Jones could too. Like it's possible, you know, they score 50, 50 touchdowns this year and 20 of them, 20 of them come from their running backs. At least that would not be in the least bit surprising. So, I, we both like his upside, and if Aaron Jones got hurt, A.J. Dillon would be a top seven back probably, maybe even better than that. So, like, he he has the upside to be top five, and if everybody stays healthy, we still think he's at worst flex-worthy and could be a low-end RB2 um, be, based on the amount of production that we think they're going to get out of the running backs. Um, I'm finding that I'm actually landing him more and I think our next podcast is going to be talking about ESPN ADPs and kind of where we differ. I found in all my mocks that I'm landing him more in ESPN mock leagues. Uh, his ESPN ADP is a half to a full round later than most other platforms. So I, I've been sneaking him in whenever I'm mocking on ESPN. Hmm. I like it. The, the upside's definitely there. 